My father's form of punishment was sometimes just a little weird and maybe even a little dangerous. Often I would ask my father, could I do this, could I do that? And one of the things I ask him about more, almost more than anything else is could I drive the car? And from time to time he had let me learn how to drive a little bit, but in his traveling salesman day, he's actually worked for Spear Hardware Company, my mother's uh, father's company for a while and had to deal with Uncle Ralph, which is you know the other story that uh, uh, is, is in the book. But my father got the worst territory that Spear Hardware Company had. It was a territory that was uh, started in Mena, Arkansas and went uh, north, south, east, and west, but mostly west into Indian Territory and south into the, the, you know, the mountains and Rich Mountain and all that area down there. When my father was traveling to Mena in the summer, I would try to go with him anytime I could. His trips were at least three days when he went down there, or if not four days. He would drive over what were basically dirt roads and gravel roads into every little country store and he would you know take out his order book and you know we'd I'd get a soda pop while dad uh, took the order it was uh, a great fun time but between general stores I would say dad I want to drive I want to drive and dad would say Charles these gravel roads are very dangerous you might hit some gravel and slide and they're logging trucks back here. It's just too dangerous for you to do that. Oh, Dad, I can do it. Dad, I can do it. I, I promise I, I can do it. Of course, you realize how old I was? Nine years old. You can do any damn thing when you're nine years old. So we, my dad listened to me all week, and he, he at one time said, if you don't shut up or you don't stop that, I'm going to leave you beside the road. And anyhow, so that goes on all week and we arrive back in Mena and finally back on pavement and Highway 71, which went from Mena to Fort Smith, was a very narrow, windy road with very narrow bridges, but it was concrete and it was paved. There wasn't any gravel you could slide, skid, skid on. And my dad said, I've got work to do, Charles, now you drive. I went, oh, Dad, really, really? And so I, you know, climbed behind the seat. My dad had to put a catalog under my butt so I could drive. And so we, I take off to Fort Smith, which is about, you know, what, 80, 70, 80 miles away on this little narrow, windy road at about, you know, five, five or six in the afternoon. It's not dark because it's summertime. And so I drive to, up this road and about, you know, five or six miles up the road, I come to a narrow bridge and there was, you know, trucks on it. And I'm like, I'm really scared. Dad, maybe I shouldn't be driving. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Dad said, oh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. So I drive on, I said, it starts, starts getting dark. And I said, Dad, I'm really getting tired. I can't, I can't do this. I don't, I think maybe, Dad said, I, I'm not through working. I'm still trying to transcribe some of these orders, so you need to keep driving. I got work I got to do. And so I drive on, and, and literally, almost with tears in my eyes, I roll in the driveway of our then motel, because that's where we lived. And my mother, I think, almost killed my father. I drove all the way from Mina to Fort Smith, Arkansas at age nine over those narrow bridge, passing those trucks. I, I didn't pester my father in, in, any more in the future unless I really knew I wanted to do that. He taught me a lesson. <laughs> uh -huh.